Lord Secord was born in 1775 to a loyalist family in Massachusetts. They were all U.S. citizens, but they were still loyal to Britain. Her husband, James Secord, was part of the Battle of 1812, which was a battle between Canada and America. June 21st, 1813, soldiers took the Secord home, and that's where we're going to take off now. We're staying here tonight. Oh dear! And you're feeding us too. Okay, well, I suppose you can have a seat. <sighs> can I can I get you a drink or something? Some wine. Now? Yes, sir. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> One hour later. Oh uh, man, wh where are we gonna attack again? Beaverdam. Beaverdam, that's it. Yeah, that Fitzgibbons, that fella, he thinks he's so cool. And, oh, we're, we're gonna, gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Good. Attack him. We're gonna get him. We're good. gonna take him down. Yeah. Oh man. High five. Now that they're passed out, I can go tell Lieutenant Fitzgibbon what their plan is. Two hours later. Back at the house. Back at the forest. Excuse me, miss. Yes? What are you doing out like this? Um, I'm out looking for my lost cow. Oh, it's, you are? I'm very sad. I lost my cow. Oh my gosh, I have to find my cow. I thought I saw one walking that way. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good trip, ma'am. She was stopped three times by sentries on the way to Lieutenant Fitzgibbon's camp. She cleverly outwitted all three of them by saying either she lost her cow or she was attending to her sick brother. She ran into a bunch of Mohawk Indians on the trail to Lieutenant Fitzgibbon's camp. At first she was approached with hostility and aggression, but then she explained her reasons why she was going and they led her to the camp. Hurry, wake up! The Americans are coming! What? Where? Quick, they're attacking Beaver Dam! Oh! Go! Go now! Well, I can't believe I walked 32 kilometers for that. I guess I can go home now. During the battle at Beaver Dams, they captured almost all of the Americans except for six. Right before she died, the Prince of Wales visited her because he got informed of the act she did and he gave her a hundred pounds British. She died in the year 1868 at the age of 93. There's now a chocolate named after her and God rest her soul. Here's some bloopers. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some bloopers. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> We're staying here tonight. <laughs> You're making no sense. <laughs> Where are you going, girl? Okay. okay. 
The Americans are coming! The Americans are coming! Wake up! Oh no! Run! They're gonna attack! Go! Where? Where are you going? <laughs> Hello, I just forgot. Loris Accord was a. Okay, okay, okay. Loris Accord is <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around, okay. I keep singing. <laughs> it's spicy meatball. Uh.